Okay, so one type of question you might see pop up on a college level CLEP exam might have to deal with irrational numbers, and it'll ask you something to the effect of which of the following are irrational, or they might ask you which of the following are rational. So what is that? Well, an irrational number, a quick way to look at it is to say that if you take the square root of a number, and what it equals is some type of ongoing decimal. Or, no, let me go back, sorry. If you take the square root of a number, and that number is a whole number, and that's going to equal some decimal that's going on and on, then it's going to be irrational. And that's not the best definition, but what I'm saying, again, is a simple way to recognize one is that if the number that you're taking the square root of is a whole number, and it turns out that the answer is not going to be a whole number, then you know before you even start evaluating the decimal that your answer is irrational. What I mean here, if you look at this first one, the square root of 49, well that's 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. So that's not irrational. However, B, 40 looks like a friendly number, right? 20 times 2. But is there a number I can multiply by itself? to get 40. Well, 7 by 7 is 49, and 6 times 6 is 36. 40 is in between these two, so since 40 is a whole number, we're taking the square root of it, and we realize the square root has to be between 7 and 6, it's some decimal, we know that this is irrational. This number is not irrational because the square root of 16 in the denominator is just 4, so this is 3 fourths. And here, this little number, which they'll probably throw in there, means the third root. And we can keep going up with those numbers, you guess, for the fourth or the fifth. But if I ask for the third root, I'm asking what number times itself three times gives you this number? And in this case, the answer is what? Well, it's negative three, because negative three times negative three is negative nine, times negative three is negative 27. So that's not irrational. So here the answer is B. And just building off of a, a more important way of defining irrational numbers, well a rational number is a number that can be written as a simple fraction. So some number A over some number B where both A and B are what? Well, A, in order for it to be a rational fraction, the number on top has to be either a positive or negative whole number, or, right, we call those integers, which are positive or negative whole numbers, and the number on the bottom here also has to be a positive or negative whole number, right, or, which is just an integer. So when that happens, when both numbers fall in that category, you have a rational number. In other words, you have a number that can be written as a fraction. However, irrational numbers cannot be written as a fraction. There's no way to write this right here as the ratio of two numbers, or two whole numbers. In other words, to write as a fraction where the top and the bottom are both whole numbers. So that's one type of question you might see.